Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog show. And today I am standing out here in South Pasadena right here at the Michael Myers house. That's right people I'm standing out here in front of one of my favorite horror movies of all time maybe even my favorite horror movie of all time. That's right everybody this is the Michael Myers house from the original John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. Now this is the Michael Myers house from Halloween but this isn't necessarily the filming location. You see this house was once in a different location not too far from the current location it is now. That's right folks this Michael Myers house has been moved from its original location and that's what I want to talk about today. The rich history of this house and how it ended up here down the road from the original location right by basically a train stop. Currently this house is at 1000 Mission Street but the original location was at 709 Meridian Avenue and get this get this this is pretty amazing to me this house here was moved here but it was also bought for one dollar. You see it was said that this house along with six other houses were going to be bulldozed. That's right people the Michael Myers house was set to be bulldozed and cleared away to make room for new development. But thanks to the townspeople and a man by the name of David Margrave the house was saved. You see David Margrave noticed over several weeks that the houses were being cleared. But one day he was walking, taking a walk, and noticed that they were all cleared away except for this house here, the Michael Myers house. He walked over to the bulldozer driver, bulldozer driver, whatever you want to call them, and asked him to if he could please just don't tear down the house. After he stopped the bulldozing from happening, then went to the owner at the time he walked into his office and begged him not to destroy the house and offered him one silver dollar and a promise to relocate the house well the owner obliged he said um, he agreed to the one dollar payment and he agreed to David Margrave moving the house but he gave him only one week to do it so he had one week to move the house. But here's the problem, folks. David Margrave did not have a location to move the house. So under pressure, he, he got a company to move the house. And because he did not have any property to move it, without permission, moved it right here on the address 1000 Mission Street. That's right folks, he moved it here without any permission from the city. He did not get the permission to move it to where he did and well here it sits. The reason why it sits here is because the city of South Pasadena understood the significance of the history and they let it stay right here and that's how Michael Myers house was saved. Now remember people, this is South Pasadena. This movie was supposed to have taken place in Haddonfield, Illinois. Just some more fun facts about the original Michael Myers house is that it was actually abandoned when uh, John Carpenter was filming the movie. They found that house looking run down as it, as it was and uh, it was abandoned and so they used it as Michael now, Myers I house. Now I believe right here is where the original spot was for the Michael Myers house. So when David and Margrave moved the house, he moved it from this spot, had the movers move it down. Like I said, probably like half of a block down here onto Mission Street and where it sits now paid a dollar for that house and he moved it 
a half a block away. So ladies and gentlemen, I think it would be fun to walk through the opening scene of the original Halloween movie. This shot, if, if, you're, if, you're, a, if you're a film nerd of any kind, this shot is amazing. It's a one take shot. I'm pretty sure it's one take. It seems like it's one take. If it's not, they edit it perfectly. But let's walk through it and let's see if my old memory can uh, recap the opening scene of this If movie. I remember right, it starts around here. There were pumpkins lined up up here, if I remember right. It's been, sorry, it's been a little while since I've seen the movie, but not that long where I can't remember. So Michael Myers starts right here on this corner of the house, walks over here, looks through this window, and he sees his sister in this window right here with her boyfriend. They're making out on the couch. Her boyfriend picks up a clown mask. It's his, it's, I believe it's Michael Myers' clown mask, and puts it over his face. Just, they're just joking around on the couch. And then they head upstairs. Michael Myers then, as a child, he's a child at this time. He's probably like eight years old or so. Walks over here. Walks over here, looks up at his sister's room light and it turns off, Psh, turns off. Then Michael Myers walks this way. So she's now, her, her and her boyfriend are upstairs in her room and the light goes off. Now we all know what's happening. We all know what's going on, in, I, I think including Michael Myers. Then Michael Myers walks back here, which I cannot go into, but walks through that door and goes into the kitchen. Goes into the kitchen, grabs a knife, grabs a knife, and walks from the kitchen, walks through the living room, I'm sorry, walks through the dining room, then through the living room, and let's go over here. Then he goes up these, well first he looks up the stairs and then he sees the boyfriend. And the boyfriend, and he's standing at, let's see if I can, he's standing at this door right here, looking up, and the boyfriend can't see Michael, sorry about the tap there, but boyfriend can't see Michael. He, the boyfriend says bye to the girlfriend and walks down the stairs, leaves the house. Then Michael, Michael Myers, with a knife and a clown suit on, but you don't know he has a clown suit on at the time, goes up the stairs. Sorry about the reflection, but he goes up these stairs and into his sister's room. The sister is, well, she's naked and she's in there and she's doing her hair. She's brushing her hair at her mirror in her room. Michael Myers sees the mask, picks up the clown mask, puts it on, goes over, and murders his sister. Sorry, then, here comes a train. But then, after he murders his sister, then comes down the stairs. He's now wearing the mask. So you're seeing it first person, first person wearing a mask. You can see through the clown eye holes, the mask eye holes, and he comes down the stairs. He walks out of this door down here walks down here and as he's walking down here his parents his parents drive up now of course this is not the original area of the house which we will see in a minute but his parents walk over to Michael Michael has a bloody knife in his hand has his mask on train has his mask on mother and father comes over takes the mask off and reveals a little boy of about seven or eight years old, something like that. And the dad says something along the line of, Michael, what are you doing? And the shot pans out. It's, just, it's a one shot. The whole thing is seemingly one shot. And the camera pans out 
and that's the beginning of Halloween. And you see Michael Myers and his parents standing next to him, devastated, not really knowing what's going on. That's the opening shot of Halloween. So I think the young Michael Myers was here. There's uh, evidence. That's the young Michael Myers toy. Where are you, Michael? There's actually a couple of fun facts that I forgot to mention. That is, is most of the movie Halloween was filmed right in that area that I was just at, right in South Pasadena. So a lot of the houses that were filmed in it, that were used in it, were used either in South Pasadena or I believe North Hollywood. It's North Hollywood. Part of Hollywood was used to. I can't remember Don't exactly. Don't quote me on that. It may have been LA, but I think it was part of Hollywood that it was filmed in. Also a fun little fact. But the, the main gist is a lot of the houses that were used were right around in the South Pasadena area. And you can, they're all walking distance and you can walk to all of them. Question. How does a ghost get blood on them? It's a ghost. They can go through walls. Uh, I think it's very interesting that they saved this house. I think it's great that they saved this house. Like I said, one of my f top favorite horror movies, if not favorite horror movie, is Halloween. But anyway, folks, I am so glad you joined me today. The best way you can support my channel is just by liking, commenting, and please subscribe. That's, that's the best way you can support this channel. Anyway, guys. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. See you guys later. Bye bye. So I don't have time today, I might do it in a future video, but uh, right here at the Sugar Mint Gallery, as that in, at the Sugar Mint Gallery, they have a Halloween gallery and it's all dedicated to the John Carpenter's original Halloween. I think they also probably go over all the other Halloweens too. Personally, I just really love the first one. I have nothing against all the other ones, Rob Zombies, whatnot, but the first one is the one that is dear to my heart that will always terrify me and I love it.